My name is Thais Gibson, and I'm the creator of the Personal Development School. This is your daily breakthrough video, and in this video, I want to talk to you specifically about five key signs that you may be blocking love from entering into your life. So sign number one, and this is one of the most important signs, is that you find yourself in the same types of repetitive patterns. So you may find that you always get to sort of the same point in relationships. For example, you start dating and by date three, you find that things sort of fizzle out to a certain degree. Um, you may find that relationships always tend to sort of break off at the same point. Like you're always sort of losing track of, you know, being able to continue to grow together whenever you're in the power struggle stage. And you may find that there's this like sort of pattern one way or another that's that seems to be where relationships continuously fall off. And by the way, I'll make a separate video for that maybe, but that's its own entire golden nugget to figure out like what happens for me at that point? What painful beliefs do I have about that point? Um, what are my subconscious behavioral coping mechanisms that show up at that point that cause things to keep breaking off at the same point in time? Um, but anyways, <laughs> it's a separate video. So um, number one, you find that same type of pattern moving through your life over and over again. Number two, um, when it comes to having to do the inner work, specifically as it relates to vulnerability, you find yourself you know, sort of pulling away or not really being as vulnerable as you could or anything that sort of stretches you outside of your comfort zone of vulnerability you're used to. Now, it's interesting because different attachment styles actually have a different version of this. So we see DAs often not open up at all much. We see fearful avoidance who may open up a good bit about the things that aren't too vulnerable to them and also help others open up. But the real vulnerable things they tend to sort of keep back and sometimes be secretive about. And then we have anxious preoccupied who are not vulnerable in the way that they are people pleasing. So when you're people pleasing, you're, you have a mask on, right? You're not being your true self. You're not sp making space for your experience and to say what's on your mind really. And you're sort of betraying yourself in that process. So um, it's a really important thing to pay attention to no matter what your attachment style is, if it's insecurely attached. Number three, another really um, good sign that you're blocking love from entering your life is you haven't taken the time to truly evaluate what your standards are and your non-negotiables are in relationships. See, wherever we are on autopilot, we tend to have to learn the harder lessons. Wherever we are intentional, we tend to save ourselves a lot of time, and energy, and effort. Um, and you know, we tend to learn the lessons the easier way by being intentional ahead of time than having to learn them the hard way. And it doesn't mean you're never going to have to learn a lesson the hard way if you're intentional about everything, but it just means that, you know, whatever we're not intentional about usually comes up as sort of an obstacle later on. So the more we can be clear about what are my boundaries in relationships, what are my standards in relationships, what are my non-negotiables, what, what am I really looking for, and then actually take the steps to go to locations, places, groups, community, like, you know, a place that's going to have people that are in alignment with that, um, the easier your whole entire process is going to be. Um, and so when you're really looking at that too, I have a whole course, by the way, about that, that's, um, it's called the how to repair a new relationship course, but it really takes you through getting clear about the relationship with yourself and what you're actually wanting and needing. Um, and really defining those standards, really defining those, those non-negotiables ahead of time. It gives you steps and tools and, um, some, some ways of doing that and also how to deal with, challenging relationships or relationship moments when they come up, like how to commun communicate through them, help, how to help somebody else de-escalate in a conversation. So you can check that out for free for seven days. Um, and there's a link below to that one as well. And if you're not seeing yourself show up for these things, and obviously it's going to be difficult to know what's okay with you and not when that time comes, which brings me to number four, is that you're not communicating your needs to others. And this is a great way to block love and connection from entering your, entering your life. Because if you are in a position where you're not sharing your truth, you're not sharing your needs, you're just gonna end up feeling in your relationships that you're unseen, that you're unheard, that you're misunderstood, that you're taken advantage of because you're trying to meet somebody else's needs, but you feel like they're not meeting yours. And so the more you have that dynamic that's a part of your programming, the more frustrated you're going to be, right? The more you're going to feel defeated by relationships, exhausted by relationships, burnt out, 
um, you know, like you don't matter, like you're not good enough. And why isn't the other person showing up? But sometimes we actually have to communicate to a person so we can get really clear about what it is um, that fulfills us in a relationship. And we can share that with somebody so they can show up for us in that specific area. And if you don't know your relationship needs, that's a really important thing to, to spend some time looking into and getting clear about. Um, so again, that, that can really help facilitate healthier communication and fulfillment. Um, and we have a whole course about that around needs and like understanding your needs and relationships um, called Discover, Embrace and Fulfill Your Personal Needs. Again, you can check it out for free for seven days using the link below. Um, but number five is that the relationship isn't right with yourself. Um, and here's what I mean by this. I mean, if you don't know how to have healthy boundaries in yourself, so you have your own back, you show up for yourself, you feel like you can assert yourself in healthy and important ways or situations. If you feel like um, you're beating yourself up all the time in your internal dialogue when you make mistakes, um, if you feel like you don't know what it is that you're really looking for in your life, not just in relationships, but like and your own sense of personal purpose and identity, if you haven't taken the time to just really introspect and get to know yourself, um, then again, you, you won't know exactly what it is that you're looking for, but we also are attracted to whatever our subconscious comfort zone is in the relationship to ourselves. So if I'm really critical, really hard on myself, beating myself up all the time, um, not making space and time for my own feelings and boundaries and needs, then I'm actually going to be attracted to people who treat me in that same way at a subconscious level. And my conscious mind may know better and be like, no, that's that person has unhealthy patterns, but my subconscious will keep getting drawn back into situations where there's familiarity because familiarity is what the subconscious equates with survival and safety. And so we're attracted to that essentially um, more than most other things. And so that will always sort of take precedence or priority and keep us going back to these same patterns that may not be serving us. So we really have to, when we wanna get out of that dynamic, recondition the relationship that we have to ourselves by showing up differently, by treating ourselves differently in our thoughts and our behaviors and our beliefs about ourselves. And by doing that reconditioning work, we actually end up being attracted to healthier people long-term. Um, and you know, this is something you'll see time and time and time again. So anyways, these may be five signs that you are blocking love from your life. Um, and I hope this makes a lot of sense. Again, if you want to do a deeper dive into any of our courses, the, the standards and boundaries and non-negotiables course, um, or the discovering your needs course, and really getting some insight into who you are and what you need and, and what's important for you as a person. Um, those links are in the description box below and you can check them out for free for seven days. Um, thank you so much for watching, for being here. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't and you hang out here a lot. I would really appreciate it. And that's it for today. And I will see you in tomorrow's video.